Last time on Dragon Ball Z SH Figure Art Reviews, we had a look at the legendary Super Saiyan Broly figure. Now we're gonna take a look at the Android 18 figure. Find out what happens today! going on everybody how is everyone doing today yes i did do a review of this figure but i also rewatched that review and that review was just as horrible as the broly one so i'm doing a uh, redo of this review because these dragon ball z figure arts figures deserve better figure reviews but um anyway i got this figure a long time ago when it was first released and it is a really really great figure i wasn't too crazy about it when it was first being released but then when i got the figure i actually liked it a lot more than i thought i would but let me show you guys the packaging first, then we will get into the figure review. But she comes in the basic Tamashii Nations packaging right here. As you can see, she's got the uh, black and yellow coloring going on. She says SH Figure Arts on the top left, and on the left it says Android number 18. On the bottom right there it says Dragon Ball Z. Then you get the Funimation, Toy Animation stickers, Tamashii Nations, and Bandai right there. Then on the bottom is the barcode, and blah 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 blah. And then the top of it right there says Android number 18, SH Figure Arts, blah, blah, blah. And then the side of it says SH Figure Arts, Android number 18, a picture of the figure right there. And then the other side of it is that cool image you get of the figure right there, which is really cool. And then the back of the pack joint right there says SH Figure Arts, simple style and heroic action. You get a bunch of cool poses you can get Android 18 into. And she comes with a couple of accessories for Krillin. And then it says the molding, movable, blah, blah, blah stuff. But anyway, that is the packaging. Let's get into the Android 18 figure review. Alrighty, so starting off with the accessories first, Android 18 actually comes with a lot of accessories. She doesn't come with any stands or blast effects or anything like that, but she does come with some accessories for Krillin, which is pretty cool. She comes with this interchangeable head for Krillin. This is like uh, the um, scared kind of uh, nervous head sculpt right here. This is when she kissed him and Krillin was like, oh, oh, Android 18, oh. <laughs> That's the uh, head sculpt that she includes for Krillin right here. You get the sweat there. It's painted and sculpted well, so that's pretty cool. And even you get, like, some paint inside the ears as well, so a little bit of shading or something like that. And then also you get the interchangeable hand and the remote control that comes, that is for Krillin. And the hand is sculpted and painted well. It looks like it is painted, but the sculpt, you see the fingernails and then all the lines where the, uh, his knuckles are at and stuff, so that's pretty cool. And then also the remote right here to blow up the androids. And it is sculpted and painted well also. So pretty cool. This is small, so try not to lose it. And then for Android 18, she comes with four different uh, face sculpts. You get this one right here, which is when she was kissing Krillin. Um, it's painted and sculpted well. You know, like uh, paint bleeding or anything. I have, like a little black dot on mine up there. But pretty cool you get that one. So you can re recreate that one scene when uh, Android 18 kissed Krillin on the street. Come on, focus, you bloody bastard. There you go. And then you get this one right here, the smirking, smiling face sculpt. Sculpted and painted well also. And then you also get these two head sculpts, which are pretty much the same thing. The only difference, this is like the uh, normal Dragon Ball Z face sculpts you get with every character. The only difference is this one right here, she's looking off to the left. It's really not that noticeable. If you're looking at it, you can notice, but it's really hard to notice. This is the regular one where she's just looking straight ahead. So it's pretty cool. You get four interchangeable faces with Android 18. And then you get another, uh, another inter interchangeable head where her hair is all wavy. Like she's... Uh, fighting or flying or something so that's pretty cool and they included that with both the androids 18 and uh, 17 so that's cool that they did that and you just pop on whatever face sculpt you want and then there you go I mean the hair looks really cool they sculpted it really really well so that's pretty cool that you get that extra head sculpt right there and then she comes with some crossed arms right here which are painted and sculpted well also and these are the easiest. Hers and Android 17 are the easiest uh, crossed arms to interchange. It's not like Piccolo's and Cell's. They're so easy to interchange too. So that's pretty cool. And then she also comes with eight interchangeable hands. She comes with a pair of fists. 
They're sculpted, and if they're painted, they're painted well. I don't think they're painted though, but the, the sculpt on them is, is good. So it's pretty cool. You get the fists right there, and then you also get these. I guess they're the resting hands. You get a pair of these. Oops. See the uh, fingernail sculpted on there? Can't really see them that well, but. Then also you get the open palm blast hands, a pair of these. Sculpted well. And I like how the fingers kind of go down more towards the pinky. Uh, Cell has that too with his open palm blast hands. You also get those and then you get, I guess, the martial arts stance hands. So you get a pair of these. Sculpted well also. So that's pretty cool. Those are all the accessories that you get with Android 18. Like I said, it is a lot of accessories, so that is really cool that Tamashii Nations did that for us. Anyway, let's move on to some comparisons. So now moving on to comparisons, Android 18 stands at 5 inches tall, so I think she fits in great scale with the other Dragon Ball Z figure arts figures. Tamashii Nations always seems to do a great job with uh, keeping the figures in scale from the Dragon Ball Z line. But over here we have Android 18's lover Krillin, and he stands a little bit over 4.5 inches tall. Then over here we have her brother, Android 17, and he stands a little bit over 5 inches. Then over here we have Perfect Cell, and he stands at 6.5 inches. Then over here we have Android 16, and he stands at 6 inches and 3 quarters of an inch tall. And then over here we have the Broccoli figure, and he stands pretty much a little over 9 inches tall. So that is some comparisons really quickly. Anyway, let's keep moving on with the review. Okay, so for the paint and sculpt for the Android 18 figure, I think Tamashii Nations did a really great job with the figure. I thought when the figure was first released, the skirt was going to hinder the leg articulation, but they actually have little slits on the side, so it doesn't hinder the articulation. I like the blue color that they used. Um, show you guys a closer look. You see her, her uh, jean jacket or denim jacket, whatever it is right there. The only thing I didn't like, say you wanted to take the jacket off, it would kind of look a little messed up because uh, they... I just don't like what they did there. I mean, it's fine because the jean jacket covers it up, but say you wanted to pose her without it or something, uh, it just, you wouldn't really be able to because it looks a little awkward like that. But other than that, everything else is fine on the figure. The sculpt and the paint, whatever sculpted and painted, they did a good job on. Um, of course, the jean jacket and the jean uh, skirt right here are flexible. Uh, are flexible pieces so it won't hinder articulation and when I got mine also there was a big like scratch on it or something I don't know when it was being made they scratched it up against something but it kind of ruined it on the chest right there so that kind of pissed me off when I got it but oh well the jean jacket looks cool the uh, sculpt of it you get the buttons on it and everything too so that's cool you get the belt around here on her arms, each of these lines are all sculpted in there, so that is really cool. You get the uh, red ribbon symbol on the back right there, that's pretty awesome also. The pockets on the back of her flat ass. <laughs> and then you get like little uh, wrinkles in it too. There is shading on it as well, so that looks really, really cool. The darker blue shading, kind of like purplish type color. I don't know if my camera's picking it up, as you can slightly see it. It's also on the uh, jean jacket as well. So it's cool that they're shading all throughout those parts right there. And the legs right there, they're just black. Uh, it looks like black color. Sort of looks blue in a way, but it looks, I think it's just black. And then you get her boots right there, which is like an orange, brownish plastic. And then you get a uh, darker brown like strap going around it with a uh, silver ring, I guess, holding those straps together. So Tomashi Nations did a good job with the paint and sculpt on this figure. No complaints besides right there where the arms are. That's the only complaint, but like I said, you're always going to have her with the jean jacket on. So really, not that big of a deal. But anyway, let's move on to the articulation and wrap the review up. Now for Android 18's articulation, she has some really good articulation. Her head, she has a little bit different um, ball hinge. It's connected to her head instead of her neck, and she has no neck articulation. But she still has great articulation at the head. She can look up about that much and then look down about that much. And you get pivot out of it as well. And then it also swivels. It does get hindered at some points with the hair, but really not that much. For the waist, it can swivel. 
can go back and then fill it and then you get pivot out of it as well so pretty good waist articulation for the arms she has that great armpit joint right there and then her shoulders go up that much which is really good and then they go back and forth up and down or whatever and then she has the bicep swivel she has double jointed elbows but they only bend in that much pretty much 90 degrees so and then for the uh wrist she has the ball hinge so you can get good articulation out of it the swivel and then back and forth and you can position it any way you want so you get great articulation out of it for her legs she has the great Tomashi nations leg joints where you can pop them down and get more articulation out of them the hurt the skirt hurt the skirt does hinder it just a little bit and you can pop her leg out by accident oh jeez but say Say she didn't have the skirt on, she can kick up about that much, like a kick dancer, is that what they're called? People do, and then her leg goes back only that much, and then they kick out to the side, about 90 degrees, and then you also get the swivel up there as well, she has double jointed knees that bend back pretty good, and then for the ankles, they can swivel, they can go up that much, down that much, then you get the pivot out of them, and then you get toe articulation right there, so... That is the articulation for the Android 18 figure, which is actually pretty good articulation, even though it get, it can get hindered by the skirt, but you can work with it, so it doesn't really hinder it that much. But anyway, overall, I do recommend this figure if you collect the Dragon Ball Z figure arts lines, or you love Tamashi Nation's figures and you're familiar with Dragon Ball Z, definitely pick this figure up because she is jumping up in price. I think she's almost close to $100, so definitely pick her up before she gets even more expensive. Uh, she has great amount of accessories, a lot of accessories. She has great articulation. And the paint and sculpt is just great on this figure as well. And if you guys want to get your Android 18 figure, you can go to agelessgeeks.com. He has it on the website right now. Or you could join the Ageless Geeks Facebook page. And you could be in direct contact with Alex, which is the owner of Ageless Geeks. And you can get Android uh, 18 from him. He has Android 17 and I think 16 as well. So he has all the Android figures if you want to get her or the other ones. He just has a bunch of Dragon Ball Z figure arts. And also, if you live in California, you could always go to Frank and Sons, and you can go to Alex's booth, which is booth number 632, the Ageless Geeks booth, and you can pick this figure up there also. But anyway, guys, that is my review of the Android 18 figure. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't like it, you can go beep yourself. Alright everybody, just want to let you know I will have my Vegito figure probably on Tuesday or Wednesday. So I will have that review up definitely by Wednesday. And I will be also I will also have the uh Gohan reissue figure as well, so I'll review that uh, a couple days after Vegito. Alright everybody, I'll see you later. time on Dragon Ball Z SH figure art redo redos we did a bullshit we read we did a but that's fine because she does come with some ex Android 18 stands at five inches tall so that's